hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to discuss how to have equations in tables in our latex document let us take the technic center editor and uh, we have used some packages for the purpose of illustration geometry ams math ams sim lipsum makesel sans math array book tabs chem formula etc for a specific purpose we are going to use the package cell space let us take the case of a simple table wherein we have got four columns and on compilation as the output let us say we would like to have the whole table as an equation then we have to enclose this tabular environment in equation environment as shown here now if you compile this you will find the whole table is typeset with the equation number at the right extreme of the page now we may also use instead of tabular we may use array environment if you use array environment nowhere we should use dollar here even for this case we should not use dollar however number label price total etc should be in text mode either use em box or text now we have the entire table as equation 2 this table has got two columns in the first column the second column is aligned with respect to the equal to sign for this purpose we may use the aligned environment provided by ams math for this particular case c5 we have used top alignment for this c6 we have used middle alignment center alignment which is a default and for the c7 row we have used bottom alignment in the aligned environment as you can see this is uh, this is an optional parameter for top alignment and uh, we may or may not give c here because that is a default and then for bottom alignment we use b here now the same effect can be achieved by using array environment of single column however to align the equal to sign we have to have some input like this so that the equal to sign is aligned properly yet another possibility is to use the make cell command with the left alignment like this again to align the equal to sign we have to use h phantom we have got this now as i mentioned this seems to be simpler however if we want to have an equation in a particular cell of a table then that is possible only if the equation will be accepted only if it is set in a pair box or a p column as shown here here we use p 6 cm in paragraph mode therefore in this particular case we can use begin equation end equation and equation number will be available here table number and uh, caption of the table here however we have to manually arrange the matter in the first cell or first column to be aligned with that in the second column now let us take yet another case here we have an ordinary equation a plus b equal to c equation 4 and then we have a table table 2 where we have got five equations which are numbered of these five equations three of them 
or sub equations 6a 6b 6c if you want to get this do not use the tabular environment without the tabular environment h line cannot be used therefore you may use rule text width 0.5 point if you are using book tabs then you may use this command also rule heavy width sorry text width heavy rule width now i am using only this command rule text width 0.5 point then you have this line and then we use an environment fl align provided by ams math for fl align to work properly we have to have one and sign at the start and one more at the end of the line in addition to that i am using two ambitions here so that it gets aligned with the rest of the equations we will see in the first case plus left align you have continuity equation 5 then we start the sub equations and then again fl align text x momentum this equation and then at the end of the line you put an and symbol and then double slash similarly for the next row y momentum the third row is it momentum etc if you do this then you have three sub equations 6a 6b 6c and then again you will like to have one more equation you stop the sub equations here and then start fl align environment energy and then one number sign sign at the beginning of the line and another at the end of the line however i am using here two number sign signs you will find the equation is not properly aligned with respect to the equal to sign this you have to do manually by providing this manual spacing in that case you will find this equal to sign gets aligned properly now remember you can also cross reference these equations equations within the table table is a float while equation is not that means you should not allow the table to float in your document if you want to have equations properly numbered see here you, you have equation 3 and then this table automatically goes to the top that is a default behavior you get 5 6 etc and then you have equation 4 the numbers are not properly appearing in your document and you have the cross reference here we should not permit the table to float now you get equation 3 and then equation 4 5 6 7 etc provided the table is not floating now let us take another peculiar case to achieve the desired result we define certain new commands first we define two new counters table equation and then table sub equation the idea is we would like to have the equations numbered table wise and we would like to print the equations the table equation will be printed like this the number of the table dot arabic table equation similarly for table sub equation we insert here a hyphen and then the rest for convenience i define two new commands eq number and label with two optional parameters first we say step the counter the first counter and then output that equation number with a label similarly for sub equation number and label 
here we would like to print the sub equation number and then let us uh, let me compile and show show you the result we find this as a equation i'll say we have the equations here you find if this is table 3 first of the equations in table 3 will be numbered as 3.1 to illustrate this let us say i step the counter table table number now becomes 4 automatically the equation numbers will be counted with respect to this table number 4.1 4.2 etc now here we have three columns first column is left aligned second column is left aligned third column is right aligned and here we have the first column energy second column is this uh, long equation and then we say in the third column equation number and table we you print the table equation and this is the label this is 4.1 same goes for the second equation 4.2 same thing let us come to the third case in the third case we would like to have this as a sub equation 4.3a then we will say first step the counter table equation from 2 you go to 3 suppose you miss this what will happen is This will become 4.2a, 4.2b, which is not the desired effect. Therefore, first we step the counter table equation from 4.2 to 4.3, and then with hyphen a and hyphen b, you get other equations. Now, you find the entire table is cramped, rows are close together. What you can do is, you can say renew command array stretch 2.5, spread out the rows. If you spread out the rows, you find it is slightly better. However, if you refer to the last row, you find the brackets are touching the hatch line here, bottom line. For that purpose, what we may do is we may use cell space package and this row instead of r you will say yes sir then compile it you don't find anything special because in the case of cell space the default value of the spacing is one point now change cell space top limit to 10 and cell space bottom limit also to 10 you will find here the brackets are no longer touching the hatch line only for that purpose we use the cell space command now let us take the last equation last table where we have got chemical equations in the table like this actually this is typeset in a single row this is a row in the first column this is a these two are typeset in the second column you will find here here you have the first row and to achieve this result to get the alignment with respect to the arrow we use aligned environment and alignment takes place with respect to the and symbols that we have given here. If you want to get this, we have to use chem formula about which I have dealt with in detail in another video. Okay, let us take the third column. In the third column, we would like to have two alignments 
one alignment with respect to equal to sign another alignment with respect to this otherwise this uh, equation becomes very very long we would like to fold this and we would like to align it here for that purpose we use align aligned at environment and here, here we have the parameter 2 that means we have 2 into 2 minus 1 3 and symbols to be given in the following lines here 1 here we have got 2 and similarly for this equation and this equation for the last equation in addition to that we have to give necessarily q quad slash suppose i do not give that then this alignment will not take place therefore for that purpose i use q quad slash now here we have this table is typeset using book tabs that is why we have top rule bottom rule and then c med rule for each of these columns we say C mid rule LR 1 1 starting column is 1 ending column is also 1 therefore this line stops here and this line stops here equation is that typeset beautifully now remember this command can be used if you use sans math package in your document Suppose you don't want this, comment this out, the output will be like this. With this, we conclude our discussion on equations in tables. We shall continue in another video. Thank you very much.